Hi, it's Phil Bedford here, and today on the show, I've, got, I've done an amazing thing. I've managed to stop two ladies from talking for two seconds, because they've got a great message for you. Um, Lisa Nichols, uh, a personality in the US, uh, I'm honored to meet her today, and a very great dear friend of mine, Dawn Lyons, uh, an expert in referral marketing, and I, I stopped the conversation, and they're going to share the rest of the conversation with you later on up in the show in uh, Rebel Network TV. And here it is. <laughs> here it is. What he's talking about is I'm here with Lisa Nichols. We just had an amazing conversation. And yeah. we're just hoping you could share a little bit about what we call in the Referral Institute your emotionally charged connection. Absolutely. Well, I think that, you know, it's your why. You know, I always say your why should make you cry. Uh -huh. You know, and you call it your emotionally charged connection. You know, for me, people ask me all the time, how did I discover the self-development industry? Did you want to help people? Did you want to train people? And I say, I discovered the self-development industry to save my own life. Uh, I needed my own breakthrough. I needed to do something that I hadn't done before, to see someone in me that I hadn't seen before. Um, I was at rock bottom. And when I, my son was born 18 years ago, I was on government assistance. And I didn't have money to feed my child. I didn't have money to put pampers on him. Um, and that's humiliating. Like, I was just getting by. I mean, barely doing that. And I remember the day that I went to the ATM to get money out to buy Pampers. In order, in order to get $20 out, you have to have $20 in. Yes. <laughs> I had $11.42 in the bank. And you remember that exact dollar amount. The exact dollar amount. Because uh, to me, knowing when you make a decision, knowing when you hit rock bottom, mm -hmm. or knowing when, you, when you're at your plateau, knowing when you're, all of that's important. I knew, I didn't know it in the moment, mm -hmm. but I got it. I remember wrapping my son in a towel for two days. And I remember looking at my baby, eight months old, saying, don't worry, mommy will never be this broke again. Mm. And that was my why. Still, mm -hmm. to this day, it still makes me cry. It yes. just doesn't change. I can see. I promised my son, he couldn't understand me, mm -hmm. but I will do everything I can. I will get out of my way emotionally, I will get out of my way physically, I will find something in me that I haven't seen yet, I'll go and get help from people that I've never met before, I'll ask, I'll, I'll be an adamant student, I'll be radical, on fire, and unapologetic, <laughs> so that we have a different life. So when I look at my son today, he'll be 19 years old this year. And he went on a two-month tour because he wants to be a chef. Oh. And I sent him on a two-month tour where he traveled the world cooking. And now he's at Le Cordon Bleu Culinary Institute living his dreams. That was my commitment to him. Right. And so, you know, people call me a transformational teacher, an author, a CEO. I'm a mama. Mm -hmm. I'm a mama who made a decision mm -hmm. that I, will, I, would, I would be willing to transform my life into something barely recognizable and be crazy enough to believe that I could do it and be radical enough to get into action and be unapologetic enough to not keep score on what people thought about me while I was doing it That's and to be one. committed enough to get back up because I got knocked down. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know, you know yep. about yep. getting knocked down. Knocking down is not fun, however, where are you at today? <laughs> well, What's happening in the next 45 days? Well, today I run a multi-million dollar training and development company. I have six bestsellers. By the way, I got to fail the last time I took English class. And now I have six bestsellers, for the record. So where you start does not matter. What matters yes. is where you're committed to go. Yep. And in the next 45 days, my company is going public. So I'll be the first company in the self-development industry to ever go public. And so it's a long way from That's not better. having pampers for my baby. Yep. It's a commitment. you gotta, you got to be willing mm -hmm. to er unearth something in you you've never seen before. you got to be willing to risk it all, to gain it all, to put some skin in. you got to mm -hmm. be willing to know what you know and know what you don't know. Yep. And then go get it. Yep. So. Find a piece of advice in there, folks, and do whatever it takes to do something phenomenal just like Lisa has. Come on. Great job, girl. Appreciate you, girl. Yay.